so hi everyone welcome to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem binary array sorting which is a very tricky problem right uh, why i am telling this because there are multiple ways to solve this problem but the opti optimized approach is very tricky to think of okay so stay till the end of the video and we will see how to solve this problem in depth okay so let's see the problem statement so we are given a binary array and binary array means the array containing 0 and 1 okay so you can see the input uh, there are five elements in the array which is nothing but 10110 and we have to sort it okay so let's understand it in more depth how can we solve this problem out okay so first of all the let's say array is 10110 right so the basic approach is that you can solve it using any uh, sorting algorithm right like let's say bubble sort or insertion sort but that will take order of n square time okay so that is fine another approach is can you can use merge sort or quick sort that is also going to take order of n log n time okay but the problem demands us to solve this problem in a time complexity of order n and a space complexity of order one okay so you can here observe that so it is written that expected time complexity is nothing but order n and expected auxiliary space is nothing but order one okay so how can we approach this question using these two complexities okay so first of all like uh, here we can think of uh, generally there are two three techniques which are mainly followed in case of problems based on arrays and those techniques are like we have two pointer technique we can have some merge technique or uh, three pointer technique right or we can have a sliding window kind of thing in order to solve the problem in order in time but merge of operation sliding window also takes order n time okay on average case uh, generally right so the only thing which we are left with is a two pointer technique okay and but before that let uh, let's say there is another approach which can be used like you can count the number of ones and zeros and then you can rearrange this array to uh, required number of uh, let's say we have two zeros so you can fill two zeros at first and then one okay so this can be another approach as well but let's discuss the optimized approach which is a based on two pointer technique okay so what we do this uh, what we do in this method is that we take two pointers basically low which points to the zeroth element of the array and the high points to the n minus one th element of the array okay i hope that is making sense now when array of low is one what we do we swap these two okay and we decrement the value of high so let's swap this so zero comes here one one zero uh, let's say it will be filled with one okay so one will go here and then high will be here and low will be nothing but low will be pointing to the first element now now when array of low is zero we increment the low pointer so low pointer comes here right now in the next step again array of low is zero so again we increment the low pointer right and when array of low is one we swap this two right and decrement the value of high so as soon as low is less than equal to high and when uh, it exceeds it like uh, when you do dry run this test case for uh, one more time low will be greater than high and in that uh, time we will stop so basically finally you can see 
our array is sorted so 0 0 1 1 1 okay and uh, in the worst case low will be uh, running till the end right and also high can run from uh, let's say end time okay so basically uh, the average case complexity for this will be nothing but order of n and the space complexity here is only order of one why because we are using only two variables low and high okay so i hope the explanation is clear to you let's see the coding implementation okay and uh, so basically we have to take two variables which is low equal to zero and high will be pointing at n minus one that is fine now while low is less than equal to high okay so that is fine and if a of low is zero we will do nothing but we will increment the value of low else what we can do we can swap a of low and a of high and i will be decremented okay so i hope that is clear let's run it so one second so yeah it is running fine so let's submit this okay So yeah it is getting accepted so i hope how can you solve this problem in time complexity of order n and auxiliary space of order one is clear to you and let's meet in another video okay and i have solved a problem which is the extension of this where the array contains 0 1 2 which is solved using dutch national flag algorithm so if you want to see that i will provide the link in the i button you can go and check it so if you have liked this video please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos